Today, on General Hospital, this is what happened. I might just do a short recap today. Here we go. Christmas is all around, and General Hospital is ahead of us in White House, Texas time. Here, we have five more days to have a big day, Christmas. Four more days till Christmas Eve. Right now, GH is already on Christmas Eve. So, John and Dex. Joss and Dex, I keep getting the word John and Joss confused. Joss and Dex invited Adam, of uh, the, the school nerd, the dorm room nerd, over to Carly's house Christmas. Because he didn't, he didn't want to go to his parents' house because they're going to be questioning him about all this grades and school grades and everything that he did. And he thinks it's going to be stressful. So he's lying about it to his parents so that he can spend Christmas with Joss. And when Joss invited him over, Dex didn't say anything but was looking at Joss like, bro, we, we're together. We're supposed to be the, the, our main couple. You're telling me you're inviting that kid to Christmas? I'm gonna, I can beat him up in two seconds, just like John Cena and Rock. Um, yeah, and The Undertaker and HBK and The Rock, Steve Austin, all those legends. Um, what else? Oh, Portia, Curtis, Marshall, Aunt Stella, Trina, and Spencer. Shocking moments happened. Spencer was going to help Portia and Curtis with the lights. But one day Spencer hopes that he can earn Portia's respect and gratefulness. And Portia said, as long as you make my daughter Trina happy, I can make you. I'll treat you. If you treat my daughter and me like a queen's, I'll treat you and, I'm, and, your, and your relatives like kings. Um... Those are the first two scenes. Before we get to the two-minute mark, I want to explain something. Twitter actually does not get, can only reach to two minutes and 20 seconds of my videos. Before we go get back into the update, when this video is updated and you're watching this right now, go to my YouTube channel. It's called The Tom and Family TX. My, our channel will pop up and you will watch the full, vis, full version of and video of this while it's updated. Now, I'm gone. Okay, um, let's get back into the update. Aunt Stella and Marshall were back in the backyard, and they were dancing, you know, and then they were dancing because Marshall doesn't have a wife because Epiphany Tyler passed away. Sonia Eddy was a great actress. I mean, Aunt Stella doesn't have anyone. And then, okay, I didn't want to mention this, but I have to. They, like, got close together for a second, almost kissed. I'm like, they're way too old to be doing that. I mean, I'm sorry for everyone who's watching this. Old people can kiss. But, like, on Stella, Carly's done this with Jason, AJ, Andrew. Uh, Marshall what, had a wife and had Curtis, Curtis and uh, Thomas. I mean, on Stella, I think almost had someone. So, Marshall's marrying his old ex-wife's sister, which Carly married... AJ and then got with Jason and then might get with Drew one day. But, but they may be sealed. Uh, I'm nine. I might not be talking about this on my YouTube, uh, on Twitter or Instagram or anything. But I know it. Yes, I do indeed know it. Um, Violet, I thought she was pretty upset because Leo told told her. And Blaze, also, Blaze and Christina also told Violet that Santa was sick. But she's upset because she overheard her dad, a.k.a. Finn, and her uncle, a.k.a. Chase, my brothers, over talk, they, Violet overheard them talking about how Finn's going to go to trial. And Violet said, Finn, you're going to court, and that's where people go to jail. I'm scared you're going to go to jail. She was talking with Jake about this. And Finn's like, okay. Okay, listen, I'm not going to go to jail. I have a lawyer. I, I'm going to fight. I'm going to fight through this. I'm going to fight through this. I got you. I got you, buddy. Okay, that's that's about almost it for today's episode. Yeah, that not not a lot happened today. People celebrating the Christmas spirit, and Vanna is over. Sadly, they kissed and hugged for once, and then they had their good, goodbyes. They were tearing up. One last thing: Charlotte was wearing a a, a necklace. That she got as a gift from Victor Victor Cassadine 
from Helena Castadine and why she wearing bad on Christmas Eve just doesn't match. And Nora and Kevin are talking about this. And Nora said, even though I thought I would always have, always convince my son, uh, Nicholas, to get his Castadine demons out, I never expected for this happening to Charlotte. Spinelli and Felicia made some big scheme. Yes, Spinelli's apartment did really flood, and it it did really have the sprinklers on and flooded and everything. But made a, they made a plan that Spinelli would move in and rent a guest room there so that he could help Maxie pay and help her with deception and all her businesses that she's working on. Very nice of Spinelli and Felicia. And then Georgie and Maxie are helping us set up a guest room for Spinelli at that house. If there's anything else I forgot, let me know down in the comment section below. Important or not important scenes. Thanks for watching my video and like this video and follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And like I said, at the two minute mark, so watch the full version of this video on YouTube. When it is updated, your boy will be back.